Do you need to be alpha, rich, and significantly good looking to attract the woman of your dreams and to get those gorgeous women's attention? Well, if you think the answer is yes to any or all of those three, then you need to watch this video because my name's Matt Artisan and this is Do You Need to Be Alpha Rich or Good Looking to Attract Beautiful Women? Many boot camps encourage men to be assertive. A woman wants to be turned on. We've done all the testing, we know what works. You guys who think you have to be a certain way to attract beautiful women have identity issues. And it actually hurts your identity to think that with a little bit of work, you can actually be really good with women. So if you have a limiting belief that women like alpha, rich, or really good looking guys, then anything that goes against that core belief threatens your identity. Because it would force you to actually take action instead of just living like a victim of your circumstance. Guys will fight me on this topic till the end of time. I see it in the YouTube comments all the time because it's rooted in their identity. They think that it's true, that it's a fact, that women like those types of guys. And if I dispel that fact, that changes their whole identity. That means they can't use the excuses of I'm too short or I don't have enough money or I'm not good looking enough to go out and get girls. That means they actually have to do something. They actually have to learn some skills and go take action. And it feels a lot better to just sit on your ass and do nothing. Isn't that right? But of course you do that, you're gonna reap those rewards of nothing, especially no beautiful women in your life. So let's start with number one, alpha. Look at me, <laughs> do I look all that alpha? According to most people's definition of alpha, I'm five foot 10, I'm not super short, but I'm definitely not alpha height. Look at my muscles. <laughs> That's not alpha muscle. And I have a thorn tattoo. That's like the opposite of alpha. Listen to my voice. Does it sound super alpha? Yeah, I do voice deepening techniques and it's a lot deeper than it used to be. And you can watch the video that I created on that topic. I'll put a link down in the description. But for most people's definition, I'm not very alpha, which is good news to you, if you don't think you're all that alpha, if I can get gorgeous women, then so can you. And it's not whether you need to be alpha or not. A lot of women, I've seen comments, they say, I don't want a guy who's alpha. Oh really, you want a guy who's beta? You want a guy who's supplicating? You want a guy who doesn't take chances in life? Who doesn't take any risks? Who has no success in life? Come on. But whatever you call it, it doesn't matter the term. There's certain qualities that a woman wants, and those include leadership. Whether you're leading a group or not is irrelevant, but you're leading yourself, leading yourself to positive action. You are success driven. You have goals in life and you're trying to achieve them. You have big aspirations and big dreams and you have a purpose in life. And most of your actions are dedicated to achieving that purpose. You're on your path. If you don't know what that path is, if you don't know what that purpose is, that's fine, that can be your purpose. You're on a mission to figure out who you are and what your purpose is. That's actually a pretty noble purpose in my opinion. So what other attributes do you need? If you wanna be alpha or whatever you wanna call it, attractive to women? Well, of course, you need to be a risk taker. You need to get out of your comfort zone. You need to be brave. You need to go after what you want in life and that goes hand in hand with having a purpose. You have a purpose, but then you actually go for it. We're men, <laughs> we have a penis, it's kind of like a sword. We thrust it, whether it's into women or into the world. What I mean by that is we're here to conquer, we're here to conquer the world. A man who doesn't have any ambition and he's afraid of taking risks in life and he just wants to stay in his little comfort zone all the time is not attractive. There's nothing attractive about that. That's just lazy, that's insecure, and that's fearful. Women are not attracted to men who live in fear. They're attracted to men who take chances and are brave, stepping out of your comfort zone. And how do they know you're that type of person, an alpha? Because you can handle tension. When shit hits the fan, you don't go running for the hills. You're there and you take action. Now, how is she gonna know that without a catastrophe happening? Easily. You walk up to her, and there's gonna be some tension in that interaction. And if you're calm, and you can handle that tension, you're not freaking out, and you seem very grounded and comfortable, 
then she's going to assume those qualities, at least some of those qualities, that I just mentioned. And in that interaction, if you're not trying to impress her and you're not trying to please her and you're not putting her on a pedestal, then she'll see you as being high status, alpha, masculine, whatever word you want to call it, she'll be attracted to you because she's going to feel that you can handle the situation. And the fact that you just walked up to her shows a lot of confidence and shows her that you go for what you want in life. In this case, it's her. In that moment, your purpose is to go for her. But that's not your bigger purpose. You're not going to put her on a pedestal and make women your purpose or make any one particular woman your purpose. No, she's just hopefully along for the ride. And that's the attitude that you have this direction for your life and women are just a bonus. Whether you have women in your life or not, it's not that big of a deal because you have a destiny and you want a high status or high value woman to be along for the ride. And when you can approach her and when you're not putting her on a pedestal, then you're, you can be calm and just have a normal interaction with her. And she can feel all these attractive qualities almost in an instant. You don't have to try to impress her. You don't have to try to win her over. You can essentially be yourself. I know that's the most cliche advice ever. But once you put down this facade and you're not, you don't have a mask and you're not trying to be the person that you think she wants you to be and you're just being your true authentic self, which is what I would consider being alpha, whether you're big and buff and have a low voice or not, you're just comfortable who you are, you know who you are and you're cool with that. You know not everybody's gonna love you. I know a lot of people I'm not their cup of tea. So what? I don't give a shit. I'm gonna be me, I'm gonna keep doing me, take it or leave it. And that's the attitude I have with women as well. And believe it or not, that attitude is very attractive. That you like her, but you don't care if you lose her. If she's not into it, so what? You're not gonna cry, you'll just go meet somebody else. And these same qualities of being a leader, going for what you want in life, having a mission, a purpose, and being decisive and taking action are the same type of qualities you need if you want to be successful in business and have financial success for the most part. Also intelligence definitely helps. So maybe, just maybe, when a woman sees a man that's successfully financially, he has his own business and he's made it to the top, he's doing pretty well, shouldn't she Assume that he also has those attractive qualities. Duh, of course. So maybe it's not the actual monetary wealth that she's attracted to. Although that is also attractive, <laughs> knowing that this guy can provide this awesome lifestyle. They can travel, fly first class, have nice cars and nice things. Of course, what woman doesn't want that? But how is she gonna know that you have those things? Unless you're approaching women in your Lamborghini, she's not gonna know that you have a Lamborghini. When are you gonna sit on the side of the road and just wait for women to pass by? I guess you could do that. Maybe that's not a bad strategy. Heck, you could rent a Lamborghini if you wanted to do that. It'd be a lot cheaper. <laughs> Get a bunch of dates, and then when you need more dates, rent another Lamborghini. No, 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 don't do that because you don't need to do that. But seriously, how is she gonna know that you have money? Women only want money. Okay, how does she even know that you have money in the first place? Unless it's through your social circle. Which is a great idea, by the way. If you have money, yeah, meet a lot of women through your social circle because women that know you will hook you up with their friends. They're gonna say, hey, you gotta meet this guy. He's really successful, which is an attractive quality. Remember, you have to meet him or he's rich. You have to meet him because, well, again, what woman doesn't wanna have that lifestyle? But the truth is, if you're working your ass off to become wealthy, do you really have all that time to build up your social circle? Maybe you do, that's great if you do, then you're really living the dream. But a lot of rich people are struggling in their dating life. I know because we charge a lot of money for our coaching and you gotta be pretty successful to afford it. And I've had millionaire clients, many, 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 many millionaire clients that are still struggling. But it's very easy for them because they already have a lot of the attributes that make a successful man. They just don't have a lot of opportunities because how do women know that they're rich? They don't have time to build up their social circle. They're not driving around in their Lamborghini every single day, you know, trying to pick up women. So here's the thing. Why not make a good first impression and just dress like you're the boss? Dress like you have some money. You don't even have to have 
any, well, you do need some money to buy the clothes. Other than that, you don't need any money. Borrow a thousand bucks from somebody if you have no money and buy a badass outfit or two or three. I bought a three piece suit from wish.com that was made probably in China. I got it tailored in the US for about 50 bucks and it looks pretty damn boss. Now, when you feel it, if somebody really knows, maybe they can tell that it's not a Tom Ford suit, but most people aren't gonna be able to tell. You can buy knockoff Louis Vuitton shoes for a hundred bucks. I'm in Medellin, Colombia. I actually bought some for like 30 bucks. Anyways, the point is you can look rich by just having a nice outfit. And that's actually gonna do a lot better for you versus being rich and not looking the part as a lot of rich people do. They have all this money, but then they don't even look all that wealthy. Because when you approach a woman at a bar or on the street, she's not gonna know who you are. Unless you're rich and also famous, then yes, that's a big advantage. But if you're just rich, she's not gonna know that. You can't go up to her and be like, hey baby, I'm rich. Yeah, I have a million bucks right over there in my car, in the trunk. No, it doesn't work like that. Even if that was true, She'd be like, okay, douchebag, you're just bragging. That obviously means you can't get women if you need to brag about your money. It's much better if a woman finds out it about it indirectly. My clients that drove Lamborghinis, I told them don't even pick up your date in the Lamborghini on the first date. Pick her up in the Lamborghini on the second date because then she's gonna wonder, wait, why didn't he pick me up on the first date in the Lamborghini? And the answer is because I didn't need to impress you. And that's way more impressive when you don't have to use your wealth or your things or your attractive qualities and brag about them. Now finally, what about being good looking? Yes, that helps, sure. If you're really ugly or you're really short or you're really skinny like me, it doesn't mean you have no chance, it just means you need to work a little bit harder on those attributes that I described. You need to internalize them and embody them and become an attractive man internally since you're not an attractive man externally. I think I'm pretty decent looking, but there's definitely a lot better looking guys than me. In fact, I have had clients that I'm like, why do you need this? You're like a male model. One time I had a guy from Sweden who was like, I don't know how tall he was, six, five probably, super buff, ridiculously good looking, chiseled jaw. And guess what? The first night of the training, he goes into the club and he just stands there. Women are looking at him because he's so good looking and he dressed well too but he did nothing. He was scared in that environment. He was shaking in his boots. Then we had a little Indian guy. In fact, I'll show you a clip right now. This guy, little Indian guy, got three or four numbers on that first night. Why? Because, not because he was good looking or what women were looking for, but because A, he tried, he took action, and B, he embodied some, not all, but some of those attractive alpha qualities. Whereas the good looking guy didn't do anything. And when women approached him, he was just awkward and nervous. And women could feel that. And then eventually they just walked away and were like, okay, whatever. So again, good looks definitely help. Try to be as attractive as you can through your style. Fix the things that you can fix. Get the right hairstyle, get the right fashion, get a nice beard, do whatever you need to do to look your most attractiveness, attractive, but you, that doesn't mean you're gonna be a 10 probably. You might still be pretty low on the totem pole, but as you keep learning th these skills, you'll become more and more attractive. If you're already really attractive, then you don't have to be as good at these skills, I'll be honest. You're gonna, your looks will get you further. But if you're not good looking, it doesn't mean you should give up and not even try. It just means you're gonna have to work a little bit harder. But so what? That's fun, man. That's practicing. That's going out and meeting a lot of beautiful women and failing a bunch of times. But guess what? You're gonna get some wins on the way. And if you want me and my team to help you so you don't have to fail so many times, because quite frankly, just watching videos, you're gonna probably not do it exactly as I intend. Or you're gonna be one of those guys that watch all these different videos from all these different people who say all these different things and then you're gonna get really confused. It's called information overload. And then you'll either do nothing or you'll go out there and you'll stumble because there's so much information in your head. Don't be one of those guys. You wanna get this part of your life up to the next level, then get a mentor because like I said in the beginning, it's the same attractive qualities for success. So when you get coaching, for dating, guess what? Chances are you're gonna become more successful in business 
and you're gonna have more monetary success as an indirect outcome because you're gonna change who you are and become a more attractive man. So if you wanna apply for coaching with us, there's a link down in the description. We'd love to take you in field, hold you by the hand, show you how it's done, role play with models, and give you on the spot feedback revealing your blind spots and tweaking all those little things that you're doing to push women away and don't say you're not doing them because if you're watching this then you're definitely doing them because we all do things that push women away and until you realize what they are you're gonna keep doing it and you're gonna keep forming bad habits over and over again it's like watching a video about workout working out and then going to the gym and doing it wrong and you keep doing it wrong over and over again and you get little results and then you hire a trainer and he's like no man you're doing this wrong he tweaks it a little bit all of a sudden you get much better results. And also to help you out, I wanna give you my free conversation cheat sheet, which you can download right now for free. It'll help you know what to say in various situations when you first meet a girl, daytime, nighttime, and what to do and what to say on a date so that you can not run out of things to say, quite frankly, and have fun and keep building attraction along the way. So if you don't already have that, make sure to download that. It's absolutely free. And if you like this video, Hit like, subscribe to this channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.